When using markers in the Art Studio, you can find them in the back drawer labeled Markers. Open the drawer and grab one box for your work at your table and no more than one box. When using the markers, take one box to your table and share the markers with everyone else who needs them. There should be plenty of colors for you to use. Take off the lid and place it on the back end so that it doesn't roll away. If you leave it on the table or keep it in your hand, you might drop it or it could roll away. So keep it snapped on the back. And then you can begin coloring. Using the marker, you can draw soft or hard. Coloring hard can ruin the marker, so instead color very soft. And when you're done, click the marker back on top. Markers are very fragile because their tips are made of a fabric. It is important to use them appropriately. Notice how the marker comes to a tip. The tip is really great for drawing thin, sharp lines. The edge is great for coloring in, as you can fill in a larger area more quickly, and the tip is great for outlining. So use the larger area most often to color in and the tip to make thin lines and textures. When you find a marker that might be dry, such as this one, we are going to recycle them. Crayola has created a program called Color Cycle, which recycles all kinds of old dried out markers and turns them into fuel and other recycled things. So take that to the outside of the art room when you find a dried one. It is important to also think about when you're coloring with markers to first outline. Now this is different from some other materials, but first outline with the tip and then fill in with the marker. Go slowly and work patiently. Also, since you are sharing the markers with multiple people at your table, only have one out at a time. That way, if somebody wants to use one of the four or five colors you have out, they can. Just put the lid on and off as you need one. Yellow is a color that's kind of weak, so if you blend yellow with lots of other colors, it gets dirty, as seen here with the green and with the red. Notice that the tip of the yellow gets kind of yucky. You can clean it off, but let's not blend yellow with any other colors. Remember when you're done to snap the lids on. Now there are thin markers in your boxes. They are great for many drawing techniques, seen as here as stippling, or to create thin lines on your paper. You can even blend colors together with stippling or with regular markers to create a new effect. Blending colors is simple. First, use the edge of your marker to lay down one color and then on top of it lay down another color and look now I've mixed colors and you can do this with lots of colors to create your own unique and exciting color. When you find a marker, test it out on the back first to be sure what color it is and make sure it's not dry. Now that we've talked about proper usage of markers, you are going to complete a worksheet. Remember, you're going to complete this in your sketchbook. Be wise with your paper and perhaps use the back side of a paper you've already done. Complete the multiple questions, numbering them as you go, and then bring it up to me when you're done to receive your punch. Do your very best and take your time to blend the correct colors or use the colors that it says and do your best work.